DFW Now News at 9. Now let's get you a check on your first alert forecast tonight. Colin Myers is here. We got severe weather chances to talk about. Here we are. It is March and this is what we'd expect. Kind of that pattern. Pretty active pattern so far. Let's start with today. Another dreary day for a lot of us as that moisture streams back in from the south. Now we've had some pockets actually a sun today and then a little bit better near the end of the day, but more moisture and humidity coming back. That's going to act as fuel for these storms. Don't be surprised if you don't see much tomorrow during the day. I think late there's a conditional threat, especially west and northwest. And then a line should push through and most of us should see that activity uh, overnight into Friday morning. So we have a weather alert for late Thursday night into Friday morning. Then your weekend looking good before front number two to start next week. So the Storm Prediction Center out of Norman still keeps us in the level two risk. That eclipses even parts of Dallas County, Tarrant County, Denton points west. Eastern parts of the Metroplex still in the level one risk. But again, storms don't follow the lines that we draw. They could still pack a punch as that line pushes through, as I'll show you on First Alert Future Cast in just a second. First, here's some of the headlines for you. Strong to severe storms in play for almost all of us. Conditional threat late Thursday evening, mainly west and northwest. And then as the front approaches early Friday morning, those could become more linear. And I think that's when we'll see the threat become more of a damaging wind threat. And a brief tornado can't be ruled out, but the large hail probably tomorrow late in the evening, mainly west and northwest. So let's look at this model high resolution. This one starts the dry line really popping out, pop firing some storms late tomorrow. Look at this. This is really late in the day. So the timing of this much later, if these go up, this is the more of the conditional threat. These would have the greatest chance of having large hail. Then I think we'll see storms congeal into more of a line similar to kind of what we've seen with some of the storms we've seen in the past couple of weeks, more of that line of storms pushing through where damaging winds then become the primary concern, but you can't rule out a brief tornado or coin size hail or somewhat larger in this line if it holds together as that pushes through. But here you go, getting ready for your Friday morning commute. I think we could see that line push through that you're going to want to watch that carefully as that pushes through and still some hang around. Let's look at another high resolution model. This is a different one. The her also fires some storms on the dry line. This one has a little bit of a different opinion. It also tries to develop and look at those going way later Friday morning as those go up. Then that powerful line starts to approach as we go to Friday morning, but it kind of favors further north. I kind of think the first opinion looks a little bit more correct at this point. We'll see though both are in play for uh, so for late Thursday into Friday morning. For that reason, weather alert late Thursday night. Again, don't be surprised if you don't see storms during the day tomorrow. Then that all clears out by the weekend. Beautiful next week. Okay, I am going to tell you about something that is now